My name is Jeff Ricoyan, and today I'm going to be demoing Snappy, uh, an API lookup tool. So basically what Snappy allows you to do is, from this search box, you can search any number of the, any one of these languages all at the same time. Uh, so this actually does it locally uh, by bringing down an index of all of these languages. So it's a very, very quick operation. Uh, there's, there's no uh, internet transfer when you're actually just doing the searches. So say, for example, I want to uh, look up um, the CSS width. So we can see here that it's return uh, returned results from a ton of different languages here. There's 65 results with the word width in them. Uh, but the top one is the one that we're looking for, and that's CSS. So we hit enter, uh, and now we can see the CSS width page uh, for Snappy. So basically what this is, is it's a summary of the information found at the source site, uh, summed up in a more readable format. So we can see that we have the default values, the expected values, and then whether or not this property is inherited. Uh, and we also have a Snappit here, which is uh, basically this particular example is a link to a website that uh, shows a gotcha for uh, the, using the width property in Internet Explorer. Uh, so, if you want, you can also check out the uh, reference page for this particular item. So, if we click here, uh, this will take you right to the reference page. So, uh, this, like, because uh, Snappy does use a frame, uh, and because uh, W3School seems to uh, escape the frame, uh, it's not the ideal uh, result. Uh, so, let's look at something a little more ideal. If we look at the PHP function, the file get contents, and then uh, click this. We get transported immediately to the PHP reference, uh, and we can toggle back and forth between the two, as you can see. Uh, and it's it's a fairly convenient way to actually uh, see the original source content, especially since Snappy is more of a summary and uh, extra social features. Uh, whereas the original source site has more information, more in-depth information. So, the some power user features of Snappy include the ability to filter by a language. So, say you only want to look for uh, functions in uh, the Facebook, or no, let's say the Twitter API. So, we type pound sign and then Twitter, uh, just like a, a tag, and now we're filtering solely by the Twitter API. So, now we can say, okay, I want to see my friends uh, statuses. Uh, we'll look at the timeline. So now we've seen we have the entire timeline here and you'll notice that it loaded really really quickly. Uh, as, you're, uh, as you toggle through, as you navigate through the, uh, the results list, it actually pre caches uh, any result you hover over. So it'll be pretty much instantaneous if uh, you give it enough time. Uh, and it, it caches each one of these pages actually, so if we go to any other language and start searching around and then come back here, this will always be quick from now on. Uh, so we can also see that this has a similar format to the CSS page where it's uh, kind of a summarizing of the basic elements and properties of the API. Uh, so, let's see. Uh, we can also expand the API and look through the actual hierarchy of the functions. Uh, this is all loaded on the fly too. Uh, whenever you expand one of these boxes, it actually requests it from the server. So it allows the snappy uh, main page to load really, really quickly and then only grab information that's necessary. So we'll close this up. Uh, and now as the final uh, core feature of snappy, or more, more a side feature that enables the rest of uh, snappy to be easy, uh, drop down this box here. And we have a uh, pre-packaged uh, tags, so, uh, basically. So, say we want to work um, with jQuery. So that would be JavaScript, CSS, jQuery, and maybe Firebug. Uh, now, now you, as you can see, we're navigating purely in just uh, these four languages and APIs. Uh, so it's a, it's a really convenient way to just uh, toggle between the languages that are already uh, supported by Snappy. So yeah, this is a, a demo of the Snappy website. Uh, you can go there at snaapi.com. You can also follow uh, the Snappy uh, status at Snappy on Twitter. Uh, and hopefully you get some, uh, some use out of the website. Thanks.